Yo, what's going on guys? So I got a pretty interesting video for you today. You had this Muslim woman out shopping with her family at Walgreens. And you know those Karens, they tend to get a little bit racist from time to time. Well, this Karen comes up to her, okay? She's already having problems with the store manager. And now apparently she wants to turn and talk crap to her and her family. Saying some absolutely horrible things along the way. But don't worry guys, justice will be served. Let's just hop right into this one. Muslims. All right, so she already jumped out the gate with some absolutely racist nonsense. I mean, are we really surprised at this point that there's people out there that really think like this? All they're doing is exposing themselves every single day. Here we go. Um, here we go. I'm tapping you. I'm tapping you. Kiss and my ass. Oh, okay. I love your garb. You become... look like a fucking. So I'm gonna have to bleep the word out right there because I don't want this video to get taken down. But she literally just said you look like a effing n-word with a hard ER. And keep in mind, everyone who's working at this Walgreens is black. Pull, pull that up. Pull that up, honey. Yeah, pull, yeah, the ahead, pull the cuffs, women. The cuffs on the is, Hi, I'm at Walgreens. These guys are calling me cunts here. Yeah, calling They're Muslims. Cunts. They're here in yeah, our country. Yeah, in yeah, our yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. In our country. What does she expect the person on the airline to be like, Oh, Muslims in my country? This must be stopped. Where are you located, ma'am? That's how deranged this woman is. She thinks that she's so in the right in this situation that she's out here calling the police. Get the hey, fuck out hey, of my face. Get her out. I swear to God, she, I'm going to fucking get you on the she, floor. Listen, listen, this move guy back. is threatening me. Move this back. guy is threatening me. Ladies, move Will back. Will you please Walgreens move back. on 17th Street Causeway? I'm telling you right now, move back. No, Step you, back, man. you threaten me. You threaten me. He didn't threaten you. You lunged forward at his wife, and all he said is, Hey, you touched her, I'm going to put you on the ground. I would say he's a bad husband if he didn't put this nasty bitch down upon touching his wife. I'm taping you. I'm taping you. Sounds good. No, I'm waiting for the police. No. No, 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 no. Calm down. 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 Calm I just love how the cashier was not on her side at all. And why would you expect this cashier to be on your side when you just dropped the N-bomb, hard ER, and now you want her to be helping you out? Yeah, right. That ship sailed a long time ago. I guess at the very least, at least we can say this Karen is an equal opportunity racist. She doesn't like Muslims, she doesn't like blacks, and I'm sure there's quite a few more you could add to the list. Also, guys, I wanted to point out that this is the woman right here who she was talking all this shit to. And now, all of a sudden, I see why the Karen was so mad. She's eating this nasty-ass Karen up in this hijab. She don't even need to show a body, and she's still looking ten times better than you. Just oh, the irony of her calling someone else ugly. I have a mask. I'm That's putting it on. All I'm asking you to do is put it on. She's talking to me. I don't care. The police. Put your mask on. I yeah, so she's just trying to have a problem with everybody. I've said this time and time again, guys. Half these people working in these stores, they might not even care about this mask rule. But they're not making that much money, and they're having to deal with assholes like this all day. This woman is clearly just trying to have a problem with everybody here. Put your mask on. You need to put your mask on. That's I it. am having, there's That's a it. man threatening to hurt me. Get out of my face, honey. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Hey, of my face. Creepy ass old woman, man. Want me to spit on you, ugly oh, bitch? Why do you have clothes like that? Ma'am, look, he's calling me a whore. Yes, but you're spitting. You're, that's, you're that's, spitting that's, at that's, people. You're you know, you know, called you know, me a whore. After you, after you called me right a whore. Yeah, and you just said a million racist things out of that dirty pie hole. Someone come get that grandma. I mean, seriously, guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. Will you give them that answer? No, 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 no. They're not giving you anything. Can you believe it? This is Walgreens. On know. 17th Street. Gosh, these employees are just beyond fed up with her ass. The level of pure restraint everyone showed in this video who was not this Karen. I mean, they deserve a raise. They deserve a bonus or something. And there's Muslims here yeah, that are yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Muslims. <laughs> Muslims. <laughs> We're the yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you called me a right? and a whore, you fucking idiot. God, you're ugly. No wonder people hate you. Sounds like a whole lot of projecting to me. And uh, the video continues, okay? There's some other clips of her here, and then the police are actually going to end up showing up. Leave them alone. They're humans. The police know they're not okay. Humans. Yeah, so she just ends up keep trying to get her outside. The Karen keeps uh, refusing to cooperate. 
I mean, in my mind, the manager or whoever this woman is, is doing a great job trying to de-escalate this situation. And now this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The police have finally arrived. So now the police is here. Now the police is here for like 10 minutes. Oh, the sea white national. I never said that. Oh, yes. So now she's in there playing the victim. How many times do you guys think this type of shit happened in the past before we actually had the ability to take out a phone and record someone? I mean, if this is just how the situation went down, the police show up and it's her word versus the other people's word. I mean, things could have gone completely left. Yeah, y'all wait, wait around the corner. Okay. He's like, y'all wait around the corner while I deal with this dumb bitch. Where are you from? I'll go back to Ukraine. Why don't you go back to the Ukraine? Now that's some funny shit. And here's the best part of it all. She's finally being arrested. They told me no just now to talk to you. Please don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you want to cry. She says, oh, please don't do this. I didn't do anything. This seems to be a common theme when these types of idiots get arrested. With your crocodile tears. Get the fuck out of here. And damn, anyone else notice that police officer is double cheeked up on a Tuesday? Oh, Myrtle's got the wagon. And here's her actually being arrested. And just listen to these words she's about to utter out of her mouth. Every color in this world. I accept your apology. I have friends that are Muslim. Yeah, we, we've addressed Do you that. Accept, I accept, I accept 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 Alright, we'll deal with it. Jesus Christ, guys. Not the classic, I have friends who are Muslim line. It's just so hilarious to me that these types of people never want to face the consequences for their actions. I mean, it's pretty wild that people think they can go out there in public and just openly be racist like this. Like I said, it just shows you how powerful she thought she was. And the fact that she's the one who called the police and then they decided to come in and arrest her. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Either way, let me know what you guys think about this crazy Karen down below. I'm glad that justice today was served. And I want to thank you guys for watching today. I'm working on a uh, little documentary. So y'all can take a guess what that's going to be about. I'm excited to release that. But either way, I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing today and leaving a like on the video. As always, I encourage you to go follow me on my social media. That's at Jamari Speaks. And as you guys know, there's some other crazy motherfuckers out here that need to get roasted. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And I'm out. Peace.